Before this video starts, I want you guys to see my perk bottles that I made at homemade, what me and my uncle did. We got Stamina, we got Juggernaut, we got Crick Revive, we got PHD Flopper, and of course we got Fast Hands. And you think that's cool? Wait until you see it into the dark. This is them. Check it out. Yep. I know it's gorgeous. So, we're back again on Black Ops 4. I never thought I would actually record this video once again on my channel, but I actually was very wrong. This game actually is very fun. And of course, I just realized Fortnite is no different between when it comes to raids, so you could probably understand, can you? No, but still, we're gonna keep playing some Black Ops 4, see how long we can get. Maybe we can get some dubs or something like that, I'm not too sure. But I really want to focus on is to upgrade my main gun for now. I don't know how long it's going to be able to take because I see a lot of people using this greatly ever since some YouTubers make some footage about it. So I figured I could upgrade it, get all the attachments and see what it could do from there, you know? Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get turned on. Fuck! Are you fucking- That's the fifth time someone punched me! With this new addition with Call of Duty, anything is more possible. People camp where like, there's no tomorrow when it came to the new, like, grenade launchers. No, but seriously, though camping is very annoying in Call of Duty, I'm actually fine with it. I mean, it isn't too annoying. I mean, I mean, I know where the guy is at all times, and of course, if I can get the upper hand, he's out of the spot for good. I mean, like, it makes too much sense. You're not punching me this time. Now, of course, you could have just simply put like a bouncing Betty or something like that at the door frame and you could just camp there all day. But you will only have one of them. So that was always a good thing because you could always allow to go back again because you know their defenses are weak because they use that C4 on you, right? But in here, you can regenerate pretty much anything with the new like landmines with the hunter control down, you know, to replace the swarm he used to have. I hate the dog. I hate dogs. Get, go away, Fido. Yo, five people just stole my kills in the exact same spot. So anyway, back to the actual guns being buffed and nerfed and all that. Look, I'm pretty sure all the guns are very overpowered in those state. But it's not the gun itself that's overpowered. It's the attachments that come with it. I mean, that's what makes it more overpowered than it was before. Everybody used to put grip on their guns, make them more accurate than they were before. They never used to actually put like an actual attachment to increase the damage. I don't know what it is. To be honest with you, I don't think any guns in this game need a buff or a nerf. To me, they're just fine the way they are, you know? Uh, of course, one guy's gonna be saying, Oh, you're using armor, dude. You have no skill. Yeah, no, no shit, dude. Why do you think I'm using it? Why? Yo, who's the bitch who's talking in chat? So back to the armor. Yeah, armor to me, I feel like it actually is a very useful thing if you're like very new to the game and just got into Call of Duty. I can understand that. But of course, armor is very overpowered with the battle royale mode because let me tell you, you could survive a shotgun blast to the head, straight ahead, and you would not die. Let me tell you, that's how overpowered. And by the way, I meant the armor on multiplayer. On the battle royale, it's overpowered. On multiplayer, it's weak. That's what I meant coming up right now, okay? Didn't want it to be confusing. With it. I mean, the armor dies out pretty fast, kind of like the shield from Fortnite. So as anybody knows, of course, the shield in Fortnite, believe it or not, the main health that you have in Fortnite is more durable than the actual shield that you equip. I know, it's unbelievable. I didn't believe myself either. But of course, that makes sense. Why does the shield go out so easily? I mean, it makes sense. I mean, it could have been too overpowered if there were both the amount of same durability. So it kind of is like that. Picture it like that. I can actually respect it. Stand still, sir. He called the dog in. Fuck. I do not recommend you shooting dogs. It's a video game! I love the dimensional graphics to use for the dog, where they had to make his own, like, graphical suit. I don't know what it's called. I'm sorry if I'm making anyone cringe. But I like how it gave it its own suit to make it a more realistic feel. That's what Black Ops 4 did with the dog on multiplayer, and it looks fantastic. 
So I like the active gameplay where you have to heal every single time. That could actually progress you more to push in if you got someone down by low health like that. Yeah, I like the new specialist perks. I'm very happy that you took out grenades in the Call of Duty franchise. I'm pretty sure it'll be best off if we never have those again. I'm fine with that. Grenades are fucking annoying. Get out of here. Dang. God, he showed up. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. <sighs> Fucking cunt. He had a shotgun. Are you serious? Who the fuck has a shotgun for a secondary? Yo, what the fuck is this, dude? I hope. What is this, man? Come on. This gun is so bad, but I want it, though. Yep, when you get shit like that every single day in Call of Duty, welcome to hell. Another thing I really did like what they took out of the game was the winner's circle. You know, that circle where they always used to give taunts and talk shit about you saying, Oh, you're trash, you're trash. Because there was no need to put it in. It didn't fit the Call of Duty thing, but including it got fucking annoying and it took way too long to get into a new game. It took all the natural speed out of Call of Duty and I didn't feel any enjoyment to it whatsoever. Guys, my name is Shurfry Hope you guys actually enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I really do appreciate it and I'll talk to you guys all later. Peace.